There we go. Full start. Five yard penalty there. Yes, yeah, full start. I forgot to. I, I forgot to do my local recording here. Make things easier when I do all the editing, all that good stuff. Hello, everybody. BJ Weller back with you for another wonderful Island Warfare Mayhem here. Wow, it is hard to believe it has been a full week uh, since we've been here streaming on our channel anyway well sort of less than a week technically speaking i guess you could say but anyway yeah around about a week because uh it, it was around about a week ago we were here streaming for 25 straight hours for x Light. but we are back now for our regular weekly island warfare mayhem fun and adventures and all that stuff and again as always for extra life extra life uh, and stronghold kingdoms merge together every friday afternoon 4 p.m eastern time or thereabouts actually getting started a little bit early for a change uh this week which is good because uh lots doing we're, we're still editing that 25 hours of video there to get up on youtubes and all that other good stuff but anyway yes are back here still at uh, $405 raised for the kids of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia out of our current $450 step goal uh, once we hit that $450 I think we're going to bump that up to 500 or maybe 475 I mean, $25 seems to be a uh, good step goals I think so we'll bump that up of course um as always um thousand dollars is our ultimate goal uh for the end of the year uh, for the kids of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. And over there you can see that's the purple hair challenge. So if I can raise $1,000 uh, before the end of the year, I will dye my hair purple. I am going to try to get one more uh, mini-thon uh, going. Um, and probably most likely we'll do all our simulating reality games, or most of them. Uh, definitely uh, the three truck sims um, and the train sim. So we're going to do at least those four. Um for the mini-thon hopefully fingers crossed i can get it uh get it going before the end of the year and if i can raise a thousand dollars before i do that i don't have a firm date yet because obviously with real life and scheduling and the holidays and all that kind of stuff um i probably won't know for, for at least until the end of december or you know, at the end of december end of november when when december hits um i'll know uh, i'll have a better time frame for for which saturday it's definitely going to be a saturday which saturday uh or maybe even sunday i might even be able to do sunday so uh that might help things too um it's going to be as close to the end of the year as possible perhaps after christmas week uh in between christmas and new year's um perhaps new year's eve eve i forget when that is exactly but whenever uh, the point is if i can get a thousand dollars in before i do that mini thon we'll we'll still do the purple hair uh, for the mini thon. Anyway, uh, what else we got going? I do, uh, before we really dig into Island Warfare here, I did want to say thank you to everybody who uh, showed up last week, uh, got me through the 25 hours, even played some games with me, Taz in particular, who unfortunately can't make it this week, but hey, we're still going to have some fun anyway. But thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who's made that $405 so far possible. That is the most I have raised in a single year for Extra Life in the five years I have actually been doing Extra Life. So all good stuff. Up there in the corner, uh, you'll see our uh, team goal there, uh, or our amount uh, raised by our team, Judgment Gaming, me, Battery H, and uh, Jesse. Uh, there's three of us on this team. We have raised thus far $1,690 and 42 cents. Uh, our team goal is $2,000, so we're only, what, uh, less than $310 away from our team goal as well, so great stuff. Keep those donations coming in. It's much appreciated. 51 days right there. 51 days till the end of the year. We have 51 days of fundraising left to go, so like I said every week we do extra life with stronghold kingdoms we'll have at least one more mini thon coming up um in december uh so still lots of time still lots of time to meet both our uh, primary goals here but in the meantime I just a little update here for uh the children's hospital of philadelphia fundraising here i just got this this week in uh the email on Saturday, November 4th, more than 1,460 gamers, so 1,460 gamers plus, and sponsors raised over $190,000 for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. That is, uh, and the donations obviously continue to come in, 51 more days uh, to go. This is uh, up uh, plus 15% versus what we were at that time last year, so $190,000 in, so... Um, Pretty close. I think we can hit $200,000 raised for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. So that is awesome stuff there. And again, it's all thanks to everyone who has donated uh, thus far this year. 
thank you thank you everyone so in the meantime let's get on with some of the gameplay here what do we got here island warfare king uh yeah stronghold kingdoms island warfare mayhem let's get off it because we do have a lot of may mayhem to get through this week that's for certain day 646 here uh let's take a look at the island nothing much has changed here uh not much going on. oh looks like we've got some uh blank spots here some uh territory that is not claimed so interesting 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 so uh there there are definitely some changes we do have a big announcement here uh we'll be making in just a moment here and let's try to minimize some glare can we minimize some glare there we go no i can't see but hey you know it's all in good fun um so there we go uh let's take a look at the glory race here so the last uh, glory round was day 625 so we are 21 days now into this glory round uh if uh my mathematics is correct three weeks so far um uh, 17 has 368,440 glory right now so not quite halfway through um as we saw over the course of the last few weeks and months uh it's taking it uh, just just shy about two months per glory round uh five houses left in the race every time a glory round is over one house is eliminated so we still got about two four six eight about eight more months between six and eight more months left to go i'm estimating june is when the age change will occur when the glory race uh for age one is all said and done so that's where we're at we're down here w oriental and uh, as you'll see, uh, we've got uh, some more places to visit here uh, momentarily. But what do we have going on here for you today? Let's take a look at our reports. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, we attacked a parish. Uh, we got a treasure castle here. Uh, we are attacking Megan. So that's going to be our battle report of the week here. We got some goods from Von Shadow, which we'll see momentarily. Uh, the enemy attacked us, uh, so we did want to see this now that we are a prince. We, uh, ranked up to prince last week, so, uh, we'll check to see what these, these are the final attacks from the siege camp. We'll see how big they are now. We got some quests completed, so I did complete battle hardened quest, so that's killing however many troops it was. Uh, defending our castles, that kind of stuff. So that quest is complete. Uh, we used basic logistics, uh, which is a speed up your army card. Uh, and we did that because we purchased a new village charter. So we do have a new village. Um, obviously new steward here in Mako. A little bit further north uh, of us in Lapu Lapu. So here we are in Lapu Lapu, Don Mariano Marcus. So now we are uh, steward in a third village here in uh, Compost on Compostela Valley in the uh, parish of Mako. Tiny little parish here. Oh my god, we have the rat. Are you kidding me? The rat spawned. Well, we'll be dealing with him today as well. Let's go scout here. Building up our village. Building up our village. There we go. So we do have that. So we are up to now uh, nine villages because we also, uh, as you saw, we attacked Megan. So, uh, Lapu Defense here, uh, formerly Megan's Village. Unfortunately, as as we've, uh, as you might know, if you've been following us through the weeks, uh, Megan um, was our second in command here in Knights Hospitaller. Of course, Knights Hospitaller dedicated to my extra life fundraising results. So, hence now we have we have had the faction. Knights Hospital or Charity, Honorary Bravery to protect all place stars. But um, where is she at? Megan, 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 right here. Uh, Megan uh, was our second in command here. Unfortunately, uh, she uh, did suffer some ill effects, I guess you could say, from Hurricane Harvey uh, that hit the Houston, Texas area over the summer. Uh, it was uh, back in August, late August, uh, September. Um, so um, unfortunately, you know, she's still, still recovering uh from that still has stuff to deal with in real life for that um we have not heard from megan um in almost two months now she had, uh last time we heard from megan was back in september so i did send her a message in discord uh so hopefully she can get back in contact with us and 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 let us know that everything is doing okay everything's good um so fingers crossed prayers of course everybody uh send out your love and prayers uh for megan for uh 
health, well-being, and uh, and uh, more of a speedy recovery uh, down in the Houston area. Congratulations, by the way, to the Houston Astros, uh, 2017 World Series uh, champions as well. So that's nice for the city of Houston. Uh, a little bit of a perk after what they've gone through over the last couple of months here. Uh, so uh, that is what we've been on about, uh, really, th this whole past week here. Uh, getting uh, Megan's villages captured. Uh, that way they can be under the control of us um, House One members. And we can uh, maintain them, keep them safe from harm. And then hopefully when Megan does return, um, after she gets stuff... No, I, th no, I think we should be fine. Just whatever we need normally. Um, and so when Megan hopefully does return sooner rather than later, we can uh, get these villages back to her and uh, get on with it. But yes, yeah, so I did capture Lapu Defense. As a matter of fact, uh, we are going to capture uh, Doug E. Fresh here too. Uh, it's going to take an hour and a half for us to cap, so I'm going to launch that now. That way, by the time our Battle Report of the Week rolls around, uh, we can uh, actually watch this capture. And fingers crossed I can do this on the first try. Uh, so we will uh, do this. We will attack from Vacation Cabin. I should have everything. Uh, and I, I tested this earlier just to see how long it would take. Uh, so I do have Dougie Fresh Capture all set up and ready to go here. Should again, fingers crossed. Um, this should, sh we should be okay doing this uh, capture. Because, uh, um, you know, we captured... Uh, da 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 uh, Lapu Defense. Um in one shot with no problems but uh we'll see how it goes again uh we should be okay but uh let's go ahead and launch that attack one hour 29 minutes and 23 seconds from now we will find out whether we are successful or not so let's go ahead and launch the capture it's going to cost us 127,919 honor but that's quite all right uh, right, part one, so, uh, world, uh, world at war, we will find about that in a minute, uh, Cap Megan. So there is, uh, we are at war here. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, Empress Bubba is on. Empress Bubba is on. Um, House Proclamation. So here we go. Uh, there is war in the world. Uh, there is an official war now. House 17 and House 15 are now at war. So, of course, House 1, we are uh, a neutral house. Even though we are all, our allies to House 17, uh, we are neutral in uh, all conflicts up to this point. Uh, so, from now on, uh, we, will, we can't vote for House 17 or House 15 stewards. Uh, we will not send healing monks uh, unless there is a House 1 member in that parish. Uh, we cannot trade with any House 17 or House 15 members. Uh, if we sell stuff to parishes, uh, that's fine because that's economic for ourselves um, and not necessarily them. Uh, if uh, one of these are a liege lord, we do have to send them uh, this info that um, warring houses are not allowed by House 1 to use the vassal army. So if one of these... Uh, houses have somebody who's one of our liege lords. They cannot use their vassal army to attack the other. Uh, they can use the vassal army still to, to attack AI. Uh, when a member of Warring House attacks a member of an enemy house, the liege lord vassal will be broken without notice and the loss of truth will happen. So if, uh, if one of our House 17 or House 15 liege lords do attack, uh person of the other house with that army uh the we will immediately break that vassalage and that causes the army to completely disappear the troops are lost um and of course if we have any roguish behavior in house one uh we will handle that ourselves we will deal with our rogues as we saw uh, over the last couple of weeks we had some rogues to deal with and that was handled summarily so that is the catching up. So House uh, 17, obviously the brown. House 15 is the light blue here. And as we saw in the glory race, House 17 or House 15 is holding uh, on to second position here. So these are the two main dominant houses here on uh, Island Warfare of the Philippines. So um, thank you to Von Shadow before, of course, the war broke out. Von Shadow is uh, my neighbor here um, up in Mako. So send me some supplies here. 
to help me uh, get my village built up, help me uh, get the defenses built up. So thank you, Von Shadow, for those supplies. To get the new village all squared away here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, another quest completed, Supreme General 2 for Capping Megan. And as a matter of fact, and as a matter of fact, so uh, Supreme General 2 is capping a higher ranked player. So that's a player who is above me in the points rankings here. So we got that all taken care of. And of course, uh, the points rankings and all that stuff. Uh, let's see where we are for our uh, Wolves and Bandits. So we have been moving up this week. Uh, we've moved up to actually 120th now for wolf wares. Uh, so good. We are, we, 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 we sort of plateaued off there over the last couple of weeks, started actually dropping. Uh, but we're starting to move up again. Bandit Killer, we have also moved up, uh, quite a bit, almost in the top 140 there. So we are moving, moving up. Just going to send some more of those attacks off today as well. So good, good, good. But the main thing I've got to remember, so I uh, capture higher rank uh, players village. Good. So we get some cards for that. Awesome. So we will collect our cards. And what I need to do now, Supreme General 1, which is just capture any other player's castle. So since we're going to cap Megan's castle, we get these two quests done and over with straight away. So that's awesome sauce for that so what we got healing the sick okay so we got another healing prayer there of course we saw these last weeks the uh, snakes castles we will need to destroy at some point but good so we've got that quest ready and active makes it nice and easy to get those two quests out of the way there's our captain there oh, let's go capture this and you know what we've got a free card i believe to uh see what we got here so let's check things out here. Of course, you can't see this yet. So let's go ahead and bring up my SHK secondary window. We will do, uh, do, 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 do free cards. There we go. Okay. Let's bring that up. So let's see what our free card is. Boom. It is uh, woodsmanship. And let me... Oh, can't do that. So we get a uh, triple increase in wood production for 12 hours if we play that card. What we need to do now is turn this off because, of course, that wants to start playing when I, uh, I'm in the middle of doing this. So good. That's our free card. And now we can uh, bump that down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. And get back on with it here. So let's go ahead and do this. We have, as a matter of fact, a bandit cast, a bandit camp to hit here. So we will hit this young fella. There's Snake's Castle uh, thing there. So this will should help us move up as well. hit that what we got here in Don Mariano oh we got one in Don Mariano too so we'll hit him snakes castles I gotta remember what I'm doing here right there we go oh come on now there we go. thank you Oh, that's really good there. And, uh, oh, we got a few more uh, neutral villages here, too. Ooh. Ooh, this could come in handy here. So let's, um, yeah, this could actually come in very handy. So let's do this. So that's 18 minutes there. Um, wait for that so I do want to um as we definitely do need gold here in uh Mako um so we'll scout these out see if we can do some gold raids here so yeah so uh battle report of the week will be uh us attacking Megan um And uh, let me see. And probably the siege camp attacks. We'll see. We'll, we'll watch those for uh, monk influence, of course, to vote myself in there and to Mako. Um, we don't need that anymore. 
Um, yeah, so the siege camp attack. Oh, we do have an achievement. Officer Gold, of course, that's for being steward of three parishes now. Uh, the highest tier, of course, is Diamond with uh, steward in four parishes. Uh, so we've got that. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll do the, do the treasure castle, our attacks on Megan, and the enemy attacks for our battle report of the week. Um, this, I think, is Dougie Fresh, which we already took a look at. I actually... Uh, I already had a scouting report of that earlier, um, so we're good. Uh, so what do we got here? Uh, Dugaman Pub. Okay, so we still have a few. Still have a few. Uh, things out here? All right, come on, really? All right, let's just turn the music off for now, thanks. And uh, Dougie Fresh. Yep. So there's a Dougie Fresh one there. All right, so we've got those. And uh, so what we'll do now is take a quick break here. Uh, and we will take a look at the enemy and the snake attacking us. Uh, some wolf flare attacks we did in our next segment here. Um, the snake attacking us. And uh, some more good stuff. Do some building. And um, other fun stuff as well. So uh, let me uh, get in the studio mode here. Because I don't think I even have a video ready here. Uh, video chop. So let's do a video here. With chop. Ha 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 ha. All right, so let's see what video we're going to do here, shall we? Do, 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 do. Yeah, we, we want some just nice and quick here. To highlight what we do. Uh, that's five minutes, three minutes. Uh, but we did that one pretty recently. We want just a three-minute job here. See, trying to think of which one I haven't done yet uh, that I didn't do last week. Of course, we have the update for Aaron and Abby. We played last week. Um, all right, let's do uh, let's do the children with lung disease. Oh no, you know what? I did that one last week too. I did I did as many as I could last week. Um, so you know what? Let's just go. With, let's just go with the old staple here. Um, brand new day at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. So this is where the money goes to help. You know, um, this just you know it goes to help the hospital. It goes to help the kids. And uh, yeah, there's, there's really nothing more to say than that. You know, that's that's uh, what it all goes for. That's what it helps. Uh, so we will be right back. After uh, our uh, a new day at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia for more Island Warfare Mayhem. Thanks, everybody.